Alright, thank you so much. Um, it's a privilege to talk to Madam Judy Ani, the cultural ambassador of the Republic of Liberia. Madam Ani, welcome to the press. Thank you, thank you very much. We saw you here on the grounds of the Temple of Justice. Can you just tell us what's your mission here? Well, like I said, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I believe in democracy and the rule of law. The judge have said I should appear in court on Friday 9 a.m. And so I made it my duty to come. Even though there was some interference from the executive to the judiciary, and I went in, I asked the judge, I said, you asked me to appear, I have appeared. The judge took the document and sent it to me, and that uh, the order came through the government, and he signed on it. And on it, they said, lack of evidence. Then I said, lack of evidence. I had given evidence, and you gave me the Bible to kiss and testified, and then the guy signed a cash bond. So he said, he didn't prepare it, it came to him, and so that is the law he signed. So I took a complaint to the Honorable Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia, Justice CNNU. And I want justice, and I think earlier on I petitioned the National Legislature, and I petitioned the Executive, and I want my rights to be protected. I want us to uphold the rule of law. It's the only way a country can be governed if you uphold the rule of law. There is no partisan politics in judiciary. The judiciary stands for dispensing justice to everyone, whether poor, young, and, and, and old, the rich, and all of them. So I am, I am asking the honorable court for justice. And I know that justice will prevail. Yes. And I have said over and over, if this court that I've, that I've always, always through democracy and the rule of law, that I've been a, an abiding citizen, and if this court fails me, I will go to ECOWAS court. Yes. System, the change of system does not start with a group of people. To change a system start with an individual. The old Reverend Martin Luther King, he started the movement. And then if there are other women and Angie Brooks Randall started the movement. Mm -hmm. And Comfort Sawyer, the Mary Brunel, Teresa Lee Shamer, mm -hmm. David Ada Brown. These are women that took the touch when there was only the Federation of Liberian Women. It came out to women's initiative. And now you got a lot of women groups. So justice must prevail. There are some people you will agitate, some people you will advocate, you are an activist, you are a feminist, and some people will do negotiation. And I've been able to do what I've been able to do. I don't expect that everybody in Liberia will support me, but I know that every good Liberian will support the truth and is the truth. Yes. I have sufficient yes. evidence. I have evidence upon evidence, and it's even done based on after the court decided that would come on Friday, there was a podcast and it was clearly disseminated around the world why this decision was taken. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, my mothers, my sisters, my friends, stand with me. I appreciate it, but I'm a woman army. And the army of God is with me. The angel of God is with me. I have done nothing. I don't know this individual. Never met him before. I have not offended him in any way for him to denigrate me and bring me to public ridicule. For defending my character, I will go all out. However, having said that, I have another court in case because in, in, in a, a case in court that I've already sued into the civil law court and this case is on, you're supposed to answer in six days. I'm not going to speak to that case because it's in court. I'm speaking to the injustice that was done to me by the counselor Bushi Ben Keita, legal advisor to the president of the Republic of Liberia. When I deliver, I heard from the national legislature. I haven't heard from the executive. 
but all is well. This is a country of law. It's not a country of man. And so we must uphold that. We were the one who participated in this armament in this country. We went to the land and breath of Liberia for peace to come to Liberia. We were the ones sitting down in Ghana for the comprehensive peace agreement. Okay? We work with the children associated with fighting forces. I cannot do all of this for the last 30 years of my life. Going through the war and suffering to get to where I am today, and justice cannot be done. Justice will be done, yes. justice will be yes. done, and we want justice. Yes. We want justice. 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 To all women, because we are mothers. No, no. I've heard from, I said it clearly, I've heard from the national legislature. Legislators have called me from different levels and different angles. I have not heard from the executive. Not at all. I've also heard from lawyers that don't even know me from all over the world in Liberia. Like you say, you have evidence to prove your case. What do you think the government have to do this? Have you had anything with the alleged uh, Bushi Keita who have actually done this? No, you will not believe that Bushi Ben Keita is someone that knows me very well, very, very well, and we've worked together when he was at ELBC. And Buji Ben Keita knows the advocacy role that I've played in Liberia. So he's not new to me. But again, power is dangerous when you don't know how to use it with mm -hmm. wisdom. Okay. I saw you petitioning the, the president on, on, on yesterday, day before yesterday. What has been the, the response? Well, I, I petition the executive through the political advisor, who is a woman, Mandela Cooper. She has never reached out to me. And Charles Snedder, who knew me when I was younger than what I am today. When I was commissioned as Liberia's cultural ambassador, it was played on Radio Monrovia. And he was the proprietor of Radio Monrovia. So he knows me. They have never reached out to me. Not, nobody in the executive. All those that have reached out to me are senators and representatives. But no executive have reached out to me. You sound frustrated and very devastated over the situation that's happening. The word frustration is not the word I want to use. I am disappointed in the partisan politics in our national government. So true. Yes. So true. That's the word. Some of them concerned. Why is it the cultural ambassador is just doing this? Is it because Prof. Key has said. Cultural ambassador is an honor, it's not a job. It was the prerogative of the people of Liberia to commit to, 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 to ask the old man David D. Pomacor with the wisdom he had. Who was the first cultural ambassador of the Republic of Liberia? We have any? Well, let me tell us. It was the level of work that I did in Liberia that the Ministry of Information and the artists of Liberia went to David D. Pomacor and said, Ambassador Andy had done X, Y, Z by bringing artists to Liberia from the refugee camps for continuing to promote the culture, using culture as a medium of communication to promote peace. When I was there, when Roosevelt jumps in on 19th Street and telling them to leave the streets. When I was advocating for peace here, the first soldier to disarm in Liberia disarmed to me Flower Mills, Grand Bassa County. The former general, the former general of the armed force, the Minister of Defense, Daniel Chair, used to put me on helicopter to take me to villages and towns to promote peace. It was based on that that I was named Liberia's cultural ambassador, a ceremonial, honorable, good oh, yes. pro bono mm -hmm. title. Mm -hmm. I have yes. no office. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have no logistics, mm -hmm. I have no staff. Mm -hmm. All I have done for the last decades is to promote the image of Liberia here and abroad. And in my mind, Liberians will judge me. Yes. What, what do you have to say to critics who say it's a lawsuit against Prophet just that you have been threatened because No, of... I'm not threat because you know why? This is not the first time for someone to be cultural ambassador. Let me register that. During Madame Salif regime, 
I was called. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs was contacted so that they can appoint another ambassador. In the President Weir's regime, there was an ambassador appointed. They got different, different roles and lines you can appoint. It's the prerogative of the, of the president to appoint any ambassador he wants to appoint. That is not my issue here. My issue here, if you go and threaten my life and talk about how you're going to do a measurement of my private parts to the judge, and then you tell me that you, you tell me that I have slept with all the presidents just to keep my job, that Omer Bwaka is old, so I want to sleep with uh, Amos Tuer. My first son is older than Amos Tuer, as evidence which women can tell me. Yes. And you are telling me I want to sleep with an Amos Tuer because he's Secretary General of a party. And then you tell me that your name is Gregbain because you know I speak Gio very well, I speak Dan. You say you are, you are the Gregbain, you are the Gredain, you are the, the mehead of the mass. You will make me pick paper, I will cross. You are a witch, you devilish. And if I come to the court, it's nothing because it's your government. You brought it to power. You the one that, that, that dealt with the National Elections Commission. You dealt with uh, 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 Costa. I, I, I had an interaction with Costa on his page. It was put on his page that I would be a collateral damage. And that $250,000 was given to me by the government to stop their protest only because I was promoting peace. This for a joke. I wrote the U.S. Embassy, they forwarded a letter to the U.S. State Department, and of course I put the post down, but they know what happened. They will explain that other story. I'm not a joker. I'm not a joker. I don't need people to cancel. Oh, I'm staying with you. You sit in some kind of petty for chat room. I stand with Judy Andy. No, that's not what I need. What are you stand for justice? What, what What are you smelling with the way the case is proceeding now that the, 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 the government had dropped on charges against property? What are you smelling? Are you sensing executive manipulation? What are you talking about? Ask me question that I can answer directly. I just told you yes. The executive is interfering in the judiciary, and there's two branches of government, separate branches of government. So in order of the dispensation to dispense justice in Liberia, it should have been done by the Minister of Justice. The Minister of Justice should have been the one to say, how can something be insufficient evidence when they think the whole world is watching it? How can it be insufficient evidence? Or because I'm a woman? Thank is you. Because the, I'm the a party comment. A party comment is that I want justice. I need justice. We 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 need